Hi, I'm Mike Kennedy with you, and I thought I would show you a camera system called the Bronica ETRS. This is a medium format film camera. It's a very modular camera. What do I mean by modular? The, the prism comes off, the backs come off, there's a dark slide to protect the film, and of course interchangeable lenses. So, uh, here's a metering pentaprism. This can be replaced with uh, what you see on other, uh, like twin lens range finders. You look down to look out at the object rather than looking through. But like I say, this has the advantage that it couples with a light meter in here too, so you can do use the camera on auto exposure. Now what's particularly nice about this camera is you can lo load these inserts with film. There was 220 or 120. I don't know if 220 film is even being made now, but there are also uh, 120 inserts too. So here's the back. And you can see there's a little dark slide. If I pulled this out, it would expose the film that's inside. But this gave you the ability, when you're photographing, to switch between color film, different types of color film or slide film or whatever. So it was quite a nice, uh, uh, quite a nice feature to be able to, rather than have two cameras loaded with two different things, you could just have one camera. And like I say, you could have these inserts preloaded so that you could put them in the camera uh, when you needed them which was really nice. Now, this is a, a 645 format, which means 60 by 45 millimeters. Normally, most cameras, 120 cameras, used to just take square pictures. But the idea was most people were blowing their images up to 8 by 10, especially people like wedding photographers and such. So, uh, 60 by 400, uh, sorry, 60 by 45 uh, millimeters enlarges exactly to fill an 8 by 10. And that way you were able to get 15 exposures off of a roll of 120 instead of 12, which you would get with a square film. Now, this came with a whole range of lenses. Uh, the lens I have for it is the uh -huh. is this is the 150 f3.5 and with these cameras the shutters were all built in to the the lenses okay and that made it easier to to uh, swap out uh, lenses on the body then i have the wide angle here this is a you can see the electrical contacts here this is a 40, oh no, sorry, this is a 75. I must have the wide angle lens on here already. Let's take a look. Yes, I've got the F40, uh, F4 lens on there. The normal lens, the normal uh, lens for this would be 75 millimeter and it was a 2.8. Now, what was interesting with the way this system that I bought, a person liked to do some close focusing, and he didn't feel that the the lenses focused close enough for what he wanted. So what he got was a was a this is a, actually a teleconverter. It's a 2x teleconverter, and it doubles the focal length of the lenses that you put on it. And since it doubles the focus length focal length and keeps the uh, close focus distance the same, you basically got twice as big an image when you used it as a close-up lens. So you could take your 150 and put this on here, get a 250 and focus down real close. Or you could use it with the 75 and get 150. You normally wouldn't use it with the 40 to get a 75, which you already have. But these cameras now are quite inexpensive to get because it's film. And uh, last time I checked, Tamron 
I'm still repairing these. So you can, this is odd in that this is a film camera. You can still get repaired if you need to. They still, the factory still works on them and repairs them. They're being manufactured. Now what didn't happen was they never came out with a digital back. I think if they had come out with a digital back, uh, this camera would have uh, survived in some form the digital age. But uh, that's it, the Bronica ETRS. There was a Bronica ETR, which didn't have removable backs, I think. And then there's a newer model that was made after this, which was the ETRS-I. But this is the regular workhorse one, the ETRS. Uh, something odd about this, it doesn't have an instant return mirror. So when you take a picture, the camera goes black until you cock the shutter. And in this case, you use you cock it twice to wind the film the full distance. So there you are. Some people wanted a few more photography videos. So here's a really nice uh, 120 uh, film camera system that took images that were, as they say, 645, which allowed you to blow the images up to an 8x10. And then you've got 15 shots on a roll instead of 12, which made it more economical to use. And the feeling was that uh, most people were blowing up to that size anyway. The Bronica ETRS system.